Welcome to this week's edition of Psalm and Prayer. I'm so glad that you're coming back and joining me with our uh, weekly reading of a psalm and then going and saying a prayer together. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Sometimes we've read a, a psalm three times uh, using a method called Lectia Divina in order to kind of unearth new meaning um, as we kind of listen for words that dazzle or that spark or speak to us. Um, today, though, what I thought we could do is another kind of faithful reading of the text by looking at three different translations of the same psalm. So my friend Rabbi Paul says that translators are traitors, meaning that anytime we seek to translate something from its original text here for the psalms in Hebrew um, into English, like we will read, um, there is always decisions that the translators need to make. And so when you pick up a different translation, you'll notice that there's differences among them. Some will translate one word this way and another translation will have it in a different way. But when we um, faithfully read, sometimes it's really helpful for us to explore how do each one of these translators pick out the meaning here? How do they describe the certain words that are within that text. And sometimes those differences, those slight differences in translations uh, can sometimes open up a text that we had not, uh, like we haven't done before. And so it speaks to us in a different way, just based on their decision-making in the translation. And so today, I thought that'd be a really great way of exploring a Psalm that many of us know, Psalm 121, and it has that famous part in it, right? From where does my help come? And, uh, and the Psalmist answers, my help comes from the Lord. And so I thought we could read this Psalm, uh, Psalm of Ascent, Psalm of seeking God's protection, uh, knowing that at the end of the day, at the end of our ropes, our help comes from the God who loves us. God who loves us and creates us and gives us our meaning and our purpose and to have life and have it abundantly. So what I thought what we could do is look at these three different translations and just notice some changes and differences based on the word choices that each of the translator makes. So we're going to read Psalm 121 first. And what I normally read is out of my little study Bible here. And this is the New Revised Standard Version. So I'm read it this time. Notice the words. Notice things that speak to you like we've done before. And then we're going to go to a different translation. We're going to look at the NIV, um, often popular in some circles and some churches. And uh, we're going to see what's the difference between the NRSV and the NIV. And then we're going to end with um, a modern paradigm paraphrase version by Eugene Peterson called the uh, the message and that is uh, that should be spoken in a pretty modern contemporary way and I want you to see how Eugene Peterson had made the decisions about what words get translated how but first we'll go to the NRSV and then we'll move on but take some time notice the words hear this uh, psalm in a new way perhaps the psalmist says in Psalm 121 I lift my eyes up to the hills from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time and forevermore. The psalmist just generally to give some background to this. So lots of times people thought that the help came from the high places because that's where, uh, like mythology thought where that's where the work of the gods was. And so the psalmist says, does my help come, up, come from the hills, from the mountains, from the tall places? No, our help comes from the God who is beyond us, beyond the high places, but also intimately who comes to us personally too. And so um, the psalmist is asking a question of trust. So here's Psalm 121 in the NRSV. Let's go and look at what the psalmist says in the NIV. Let's listen to the word of God speak in this version. I lift my eyes up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, 
the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor slip, sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. So pretty close, right? A couple of differences that I notice is, I like how the NIV says, will not let your foot slip. And the NRSV has, I will not let your foot be moved. A difference I saw is that I really like how in the NRSV that the translation says here, the Lord is your keeper. And in the NIV, it's the Lord watches over you. Those are just slight little differences, um, but both might speak a, a, in a different way to us. I like to call God our my keeper not just simply as one who watches, but one who keeps me. I like also in the NIV how it says about the foot slipping, how easily it is to slip. It's kind of unexpected, like when we slip on mud and our foot goes and sometimes we go with it and we lose our balance and everything. A couple of different differences here, right? Let's go and look at now the message version. And this version is gonna be a lot different but I hope that its contemporary rendering of the translation might speak to us in a new powerful way. Right at the beginning, uh, Eugene Peterson doesn't use the common title of a song of ascent. Um, it's described as a pilgrim song. And for Jews, um, in the time of this writing, uh, this was a pilgrimage song that would take them to their place of pilgrimage. And so I find that really helpful that Eugene uh, Peterson writes that here in, uh, in the title of this psalm. But let us look at uh, here what differences we might notice. I look up to the mountains. Does my strength come from mountains? No, my strength comes from God who made heaven and earth and mountains. He won't let you stumble. Your guardian God won't fall asleep, not on your life. Israel's garden, guardian will never doze or sleep. God's your guardian, right at your side to protect you, shielding you from sunstroke, sheltering you from moonstroke. God guards you from every evil. He guards your very life. He guards you when you leave and when you return. He guards you now. He guards you always. Here's another, just a, a different, maybe more imaginative understanding of this text in ways that we might understand a little bit better. So why did we go through all those translations? Each one speaks something peculiar or particular to us that might unlock, like we said earlier, the meaning of the psalm in a new way. So when we're struggling to understand a text, not just the Psalms, but it could be any text, go to another version and, and hear what the translation is saying in that one so to unlock the meaning, to unlock um, uh, our understanding of what God might be saying through that text. I hope that Psalm 121 will go with you um, as we are pilgrims on our own journey, our own journey through uncertainty, wondering where things will end up and how things will be but we trust that our strength comes up from the hills, from the mountains and the high places, but rather in the God who loves us and comes to be and live among us. The one who is our keeper, who won't let our feet slip from underneath us, who watches our coming in and our going out now and always. Let's say a word of prayer, and then I hope that to your rest of your day will be as blessed as this blessing of this reading has been. Guardian God, go with us wherever we go. Don't let the, our feet uh, slip from underneath us, but protect us from all the things that are out there. 
When we question where our help comes from, remind us, whisper in our ears that it comes from you always. Amen and amen. Until next week, um, we'll have another uh, edition of Psalm and Prayer, uh, but may you be wrapped in God's love for you. May you be in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you be empowered by the gift of the Holy Spirit. See you soon.